Hello, I'd like one cup of Smith coffee and no sugar coating, please. So we just got a new trailer for Kazuya Mishima and it looks uh, pretty sick. In this video, I'm gonna quickly break down what we saw in the trailer and the changes from Tekken 7. First off, I don't need to tell you how cool this all looks because it's right there. Kazuya's redesign for Tekken 8 is also easily my favorite from what they've shown so far. Just a really tasteful update, which blends in elements of all his previous designs. Also, gotta love the purple jacket. I mean, come on, it's Kazuya. One more thing on the audiovisual side, I really love how all the voices have finally been re-recorded, and how Kazuya now looks and sounds a bit older here. <laughs> Okay, onto the gameplay analysis. It's been stated multiple times that Tekken 8 is going to be a push towards more aggressive gameplay, and it's pretty clear that they're going to turn Kazuya into a mix-up machine. I mean, even more so. First off, his Demon Slayer string, or 122, can be cancelled similar to Heihachi. However, this cancel is way faster, and should help Kazuya set up his mix-ups. There's also a new extension to the Hell Sweep, which looks like Crouch Dash 4-4. We know that the classic Sweep Bang is still in there, since it was shown at the initial State of Play reveal trailer. So I imagine you use Sweep Bang for the Vortex, and the new extension for Damage and Wall Carry. I always love having extra extensions for more options, so that's great. Dragon Uppercut, or Crouch Dash 1, now leads to the new Vertical Screw Combo Extender. And he also ends this combo with a new string, which looks like it might be back 2-2-1-2 two, 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 into a laser ending. I think it's cool that we're seeing more devil stuff, even when Kazuya is in his regular form. And it looks like that's going to be one of the main ways they really distinguish Kazuya in Tekken 8, both mechanically and aesthetically. There's also this really sick looking string used as a wall ender, if I had to guess the input, maybe back 4-3-1-2, but who knows. An interesting thing about this wall combo is that regular Kazuya also uses a launching twin pistons, which before was exclusive to his devil form. We'll look at this devil form in more detail later. And one more new move is this, which looks like it might be sidestep 1. I believe this is also the first time we've seen a sidestep actually evading something. There's still a lot we don't know about Tekken 8's movement system, and whilst I don't think anyone was ever seriously suggesting that Tekken 8 wouldn't have sidesteps, the question has always lingered about how important movement would be overall, especially considering how it was nerfed coming into Tekken 7. Trailers and so on are, of course, a statement of intent though, so I do appreciate the developers explicitly putting this in there as if to say, yes, 3D movement is still an important part of Tekken. To what extent, I guess we won't really know until players get their hands on Tekken 8 and we get some direct feedback. Okay, on to Kazuya's Devil Form, which is basically also his Heat Form, which is a once per round power up that lasts about 10 seconds, but this can be extended by attacking the opponent. We can see that Devil Fist, or Forward Forward 2, and Kumo Kiri, or Back 1 Plus 2, are some of his heat engages. As explained at TWT Finals, each character has about 5 heat engages that put you into heat when they connect. And these are designed to be key moves that sort of encapsulate the character, making them easier to pick up and play. I wonder if Kazuya is going to keep his old Forward Forward 2 though, because previously you had to be in Devil form to do a Devil Fist. And one more question I have is whether you have any control over whether your character goes into heat after connecting a heat engager. I imagine you probably need to press an extra input like R1 or something to go into heat. We also see what I imagine are some heat or devil exclusive moves. He has something which looks similar to Devil Jin's power crush, Imperial Wrath. But I wonder why he's inputting it when he's presumably at frame advantage. Maybe not all heat engagers give you advantage, or alternatively, this is just a trailer for an alpha build, so it means nothing at all, and I'm just being a big nerdy sweat lord. Here, an extended agony spear string is used after a heat burst, and this presumably is there as a powerful combo ender. Kazuya's hell sweep also seems to be enhanced while in heat, into this string which looks like it deals a ton of damage. They mentioned that heat will buff characters' key moves, and of course, the Hell Sweep is an iconic Mishima move that will make heat dashes really scary. 
Speaking of which, we also see Devil Kazuya cancelling a down forward 1-2 into a heat dash for a combo. This is actually a move that Kazuya used to have in older Tekken games called Slaughter Hook, and it was a natural mid-high that gave advantage on block and a bound on hit, but you could duck it and launch it. I always liked this move and thought the replacement in Tekken 7 was frankly a bit ugly, so I'm glad to see it's back. Kazuya ends this combo with the Impaling Knee Thrust String, which is now a combo extender into Heaven's Gate, which has a glorious new animation. So far, we've seen a vertical screw, a horizontal screw, and the classic Tekken 7 diagonal screw. I imagine this is probably all the same thing, just with visual differences, and not actually three separate combo extender mechanics on top of Bound from Heat Burst. But who knows, Tekken has never really been too concerned about shying away from convoluted mechanics. And that's that for this Kazuya trailer analysis. Overall, I think it looks super cool, and it's got me all the more excited to play this game. And by the way, my apologies for not putting up some thoughts on the detailed breakdown of the heat system from TWT Finals yet. There was a lot to process there, and I do want to take some time to really think over how I feel about this new direction for Tekken as a whole, and how these new interlocking systems could possibly interact. But to sum things up right now, I'm cautiously optimistic and excited for a fresh new direction with Tekken. Look for that video later this week. Thanks again for watching all, have an excellent day, and I'll catch you again real soon.